Hi guys, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I wanted to share my current favorites. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos and I have a feeling it might be a little bit chatty. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? I'll put timestamps below so that way if you want to bypass the beauty products, you can go straight into luxury goods. It makes it a little bit easier. But I will start off with beauty products and the first items are polishes. Now I'm pretty sure I've talked about this brand in the past, but I've been using the Kiko Milano Smart Fast Dry Nail Polish the last eight months, if not longer, and I think that it is absolutely amazing. The bottle is a little bit smaller than most other brands out there, but the formula that this has is incredible. So they have a few to choose from, but I prefer the Smart Fast Dry, like I mentioned earlier. Now, usually when brands say fast drying polish, I still feel that it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes for all the coats to dry. Of course, it depends if you use two to four or more. It still takes anywhere from the 15 to 20 minutes. Now, I don't have the patience, nor do I have the time to wait around for my polish to dry. And nine times out of 10, it might be dry to the touch, but then I go to do something and I mess them up and then I have to start all over again. Well, I personally haven't experienced it with these guys. I think it is incredible. And when it says fast drying, it is fast drying. I have applied anywhere from two to three coats and at most five minutes dry to the touch dry to everything else and I don't mess up my nails and I can move on about my business so I think that these are great the brush on these is pretty great too let me just show you guys really quickly and let me set down the bottle because knowing me I will get polish all over the place uh, but there we go so it is wide enough that it ends up capturing the majority of your nail and you don't have to sit there for ever in a day trying to get every single nook and cranny you know but uh, I do like this color the most this is definitely my favorite this is number 103 and it's a perfect shade of pink it's subtle it's perfect for like a French manicure I think it's gorgeous and I do use three coats with this three coats five minutes out the door good to go type of thing but besides the formula that these have the price that they have is awesome too so on the website, you can find them from anywhere from $1.40 to $2 at most. And 90% of the time, they have these killer deals where you can get them for like $1.20 or what have you. And anything over $25 is free shipping. So that's, that's why I went crazy and I bought so many bottles. But uh, I still think it's great. So if you want a fast drying polish, if you want, they have an array of colors to choose from as well. Uh, but if you don't want to sit there for 20 minutes, 30 minutes waiting for them to dry, highly, highly recommend these guys. Love them. I'm even wearing the white uh, Kiko Milano on my nails at the moment. I'm not sure how I feel about white polish. I kind of like the way that it looks. It's starting to grow on me, but I also feel like my mind is just saying white out white out white out <laughs> i don't know so um i like the white one so far it's been uh, it's been pretty good no issues with that one either so definitely check them out so it's no surprise that i added highlights to my hair and as much as i like the highlights and as great as they are at hiding the grays they definitely damage my hair to the point where you can really see how dry it is you can really see how frizzy it is and kind of give the scarecrow from the wizard of oz a run for his money type of thing all right so i was having a difficult time trying to bring my hair back to life and it seems like every product that I tried, it just made it really frizzy or it made it really, really greasy. So I was having no success. I ended up talking to my hairdresser and she recommended the Joyco Defy Damage. Now this stuff, I've been using it for the last maybe month, month and a half, and it has been incredible. I feel that it's made a huge difference in the way that my hair looks. I don't feel it's as frizzy. I don't feel it's as dry. It feels very, very smooth. So I went for the shampoo and conditioner and it just says for bond, for bond strengthening and color longevity, sulfate free. Uh, they do have two sizes. I went for the larger size, uh, but these have been great. I also ended up going for the protective shield to guard against thermal and UV damage. And in my opinion, this is like the icing on the cake. This is what has really, really helped to make my hair not look so frizzy. So it's a combination of three, but this one, when you add it on top, um, I think has been awesome. And one thing to know is that I don't really like to use hot tools on my hair. I try to avoid um, a hair dryer. I try to avoid curling my hair. For the most part, I end up air drying my hair. That's how I feel most comfortable. And I have been using this and I haven't experienced that poof out that I had before. Because anytime 
I would air dry my hair. I am not kidding you. My hair would be out to like here and it would look massive. And since I have short and long layers, <laughs> it was just not a good look, you know? It was not a good look. So ever since I started using the shampoo and conditioner and putting this on top, I think it's great. So this is just air dried. If I was to do like a blowout, it would be perfectly straight. Uh, but I think this is pretty good. Like I said, it's super, super soft and it has just changed considerably from what my hair was before, like, I don't know, four or five months ago to now, you know? So if you do wanna try out a new hair product, I highly recommend this. I think that this line is incredible, but um, I will have to say, I don't think it has the best smell either, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like a lot of the salon, you know, shampoo and conditioners smell so incredibly good. I don't think this is one of them. <laughs> I really don't, you know, which is kind of a bummer, but the fact that it repairs my hair to looking a lot better than before, is worth every single penny in my opinion. But uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So the Joico Defy Damage line, they also have a mask if you're interested in that, but the protective shield is the best of the best. The next item I wanted to share with you, I'm blaming you guys. I'm blaming you because I had so many of you recommend this next product. So many of you were like, you're gonna love it. You're a lipstick junkie. This is right up your alley. And the packaging you're going to be obsessed with. So I checked it out and let's be honest, it is the packaging that drew me in. And I am talking about the House of Siage lipsticks. Now they also have fragrances, but I was mostly interested in their lipsticks. Although I will have to say that their fragrances smell incredible, but the lipstick themselves the formula is awesome um, now the lipstick refill retails for 30, uh, $35 but it's the case that ends up being the splurge because the case is made of enamel and it's encrusted with Swarovski crystals now being is how I can't <laughs> I can't deny pretty packaging when it comes to that lipstick like I said before I was immediately hooked I walked into the boutique or I walked into the store and I was mesmerized. I saw all the little sparkles, I saw all the shininess, and I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> sign me up. But uh, the cases, you have different colors to choose from. I went for the black, just because I felt that it ended up um, showing the crystals a lot better than some of the other colors, but they also have white, red, Tiffany blue, pink, green, yellow, and a few others. But um, I just think that these are adorable. They also come with its own little case and the case has a uh, mirror inside so you can apply your lipstick and they also come with a cute little dust bag. Super, super cute, but definitely a splurge. But the lipstick itself, the formula, like I said before, it is incredible. The color that I chose is Count, and I do believe that they have either 12 or 14 shades to choose from, ranging from very neutral to like a pink mauve. Uh, but I felt that this one ended up working out the best with my skin tone, and that's actually what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, so it's very light, but it has a little bit of sparkle and it has a little bit of shine that ends up working out and it's not too, too much. Uh, but the, uh, the formula itself has vitamin A, vitamin E, it also has diamond powder, and it ends up just gliding so smoothly. It's a full coverage lipstick, satin, uh, satin finish, but it is beautiful. I haven't had any issues with feathering, I haven't had any issues with drying or anything like that. To me, it mostly feels like I'm applying a lip balm. That's the best way that I can describe it, but with the color payoff of a full coverage lipstick. So I am hooked on these. And I do want to add another color. Um, I believe it's Countess. It's all, it's very similar to this, but it has a little bit more of like a pinkish hue to it. Um, so I really want to go for that one. And the fact that I can just take this guy out and put in the other one for 35 bucks, I think is great without necessarily having to go for another case. But I got to admit, I also want to go for the white case <laughs> because I think that one looks super cute too. But uh, I am just, I'm in love with these, um, with these lipsticks, I think that they're wonderful. Uh, and like I said before, if you are interested in their fragrances, they have so many to choose from and those also smell incredible. But so far, so good, just in just, the formula is awesome. Um, I will have to say that when you go to close the lipstick case or the bow case, it can be a little bit tricky because you do have to put them, see how there's like the double lines on one side and you have the double lines on the other side? That's how you're supposed to be able to fit it together. I have the hardest time, otherwise it's not gonna be able to close. So it can be, it can be somewhat frustrating when you first get it, but then you get the hang of it. 
Well, apparently not because, <laughs> because obviously you just saw me struggle, but, but uh, I think that these are adorable and I've been using this like crazy, like crazy since I got it, what, I think three, three months ago? something like that, three and a half months ago. I can't remember, but um, it's constantly in my handbag and it does add a little bit of weight because of the enamel. So I thought I'd throw that out there just in case, but if you want a new lipstick that just has an awesome formula and if you want to have a snazzy case, this is the way to go. On to handbag favorites. I also have three small leather goods that I want to share with you, but let's start off with the handbags. The first one is the Gucci Petite Marmont Wallet on Chain and the color Fuchsia with the gold hardware. I absolutely love this wallet on chain. I've been using it to death. I love the fact that it's so spacious. I also like the simplicity. It doesn't have too many bells and whistles. And the pink, come on, the pink is so incredibly vibrant. But one of the greatest things about this wallet on chain, not only does it have a built-in mirror, I don't wanna blind you guys, not only does it have a built-in mirror, which allows you to maximize your space and you don't have to carry a compact, but also the fact that it comes with a removable chain, which in my opinion is the biggest game changer when it comes to a wallet on chain. Because like I said before, you can maximize your space. You don't have to worry about having the chain take up, you know, the, the place of another small leather good that you absolutely want to carry with you. So you can take it off completely. I think that's incredible. And uh, let me just show you guys the interior very quickly. There we go. Um, but you do have a, zip, a zipper compartment. You have built-in credit card slots and you also have this other compartment here. So even though it is small and even though it is a wallet on chain, you can definitely get away with carrying quite a few items inside. I haven't had any issues with color transfer and I also haven't had any problems with the chain rubbing on the, uh, on the side part of the wallet on chain either, kind of like the Dior one that I had that I ended up getting rid of. Uh, but this one hasn't had any problems with it whatsoever. No wear and tear. It literally looks like the day that I got it. It looks exactly the same and I have been using this to death. Uh, these last couple of months. This itself isn't too, isn't uncomfortable. It doesn't dig into your shoulder either. Um, I just feel like this has so much to offer. It brings so much to the table. And once again, for that price point and the quality that you're getting, um, I think it is fabulous. So the Gucci Petite Marmot wallet on chain. I don't know if they have the fuchsia anymore. I do believe someone said that this is a seasonal color. I know that they have the black, they have nude, red, and they also have like a baby pink. So I thought I'd throw that out there just in case. Another handbag that I've been using to death is the Chanel Mini Rectangular and the pink lambskin with the silver hardware. I'm sure some of you are just as surprised as I am, but I'm super happy that I'm just enjoying this bag to the fullest. And usually, like I've said in other videos, I don't have the best track record. I don't have, I haven't had the best experiences when it comes to colored handbags because I end up putting them in this like protective bubble. I'm super paranoid, but that hasn't been the case with this guy. And I haven't had any issues whatsoever with wear and tear. I haven't had any problems with scuffs or with color transfer. I mean, I don't necessarily use this with dark, dark denim. I still use denim, but I haven't experienced any color transfer on this whatsoever. For the most part, I do end up using light colored clothing, such as, you know, white shirts or gray shirts and lighter denim, but still I'm not completely like 100% anti using black or, you know, the, the, darker, the darker jeans when I go to use this. I've had a lot of people ask how I end up incorporating this into my wardrobe, and like I mentioned, mentioned earlier, I mostly end up using a, like a white tee with light denim and flip flops. And this is the pop of color that ends up working out the best for my lifestyle. Um, you know, but this is such a beautiful pink. I call it the Barbie pink because that's what it reminds me of. And, um, these guys, they are small, but they still end up packing a punch. Let me show you guys the interior uh, very quickly. I don't really use the zipper compartment or the slip pocket. I pretty much just end up using three to four small leather goods and a lipstick on the side, no issues whatsoever. Um, but I use this crossbody, I use this on my shoulder, and uh, I think it's very comfortable. It doesn't dig into your skin or anything like that. So I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy that it's not just sitting on my shelf, you know? So the Chanel Mini in the pink lambskin with the silver hardware. 
Another handbag that I have been using nonstop is never a surprise because it is a forever favorite. That is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damien Azur. I absolutely love this bag and I've been using it the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months, and there's just something about Damien Azur. Now, I don't think it's just for spring and I don't think it's just for summer. I feel like this is the type of print that you can use year round. Of course, it also depends on the type of uh, weather that you have where you live. Like if you have a lot of snow or if you have a lot of rain, you wanna try to avoid Avoid using a bag like this because of the vaquetta but in general I just feel that it brings a type of lightness and it brings a lot of um, I don't know just something to the outfit you know that some of the other prints don't end up having but I've had this bag for what seems like eons and I do get a lot of questions on how I end up having the patina look the way that it does do I do anything to speed up the process or anything like that. I don't. I let the oils in my hands do all the work. That's why you will notice that in the middle of the trim there, it is a little bit darker, but everywhere else it does have that nice, rich, golden uh, patina, as well as on the handles, right in the middle where I end up uh, grabbing it the most, it is a little bit darker than the rest of it. But um, I love this bag. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I did experience color transfer on it two years ago, something like that. I was wearing a black shirt and um, I noticed that it was kind of, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but right around here, it is a slight, um, it has like a slight grayish hue. And as soon as I noticed it, I went into the bathroom, I used Dawn dish soap with warm water and I was able to pull most of it off, but I feel like you can still see it. You guys might not be able to see it, but in real life, it does have a bit of a, of a shade, but even with the color transfer, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change it out because I've used this bag at the beach, I've used it for travel, I've used it for every day, and I know some people are sick and tired of the Neverfull. I am not. To me, this is the end-all, be-all tote. It is so simple, and the fact that you can incorporate it various ways makes me very, very happy. So I love this bag, and currently I do have a... Um, and organize around here just to give it a little bit more of a pop of color. Speaking of which, Samorga did extend the coupon code that I have and I will put that on the description box below if you guys are interested. But um, I would just say leave, you know, let the bag do its thing, let the oils in your hands do all the work for you, um, but to each their own. But I will never, ever get sick of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Moving on to the small of the goods, I won't talk about them too, too much just because I did talk about some of them in last week's video and I have also talked about them quite a bit in the past. Uh, but the first one is the Chanel Mini O pouch or the Beauty CC pouch in the gold croc embossed leather with the antique gold hardware. And like I said in last week's video, I have been using this to death, mostly as a wallet or as a catch-all. And the fact that it adds a little bit of snazziness to the inside of my handbag makes me very, very happy. And um, I did have someone ask if I'm nervous about the, the metallic and if I feel it might end up wearing off a little bit quicker. I haven't experienced that with another metallic small leather good that I have from Chanel because one of my sales associates said that they have kind of revamped the way that they kind of treat metallics. So I'm hoping that this ends up being the same way, that I don't experience any type of flaking or any type of chipping, but only time will tell. And if I do experience that I will definitely let you guys know and on that same note I have been using the same uh, beauty CC pouch this is in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware quite a bit same thing currently I am using it as a catch-all I have my key fob in here I have some gum and I also have a few other cards uh, but mostly I just prefer to use it as a wallet and so far no issues with wear and tear sometimes I will admit I overstuff them I don't recommend overstuffing it um, but you know me Some, sometimes I like to push the envelope and I definitely do that with this guy but uh, if you want to make sure that it wears as best as possible for as long as possible, I would recommend not to overstuff it like moi. So I just thought I'd throw that out there as well. And the last small leather good, I also talked about it in my last favorites video, so that's why I don't want to spend too much time on it, but it is the Louis Vuitton card holder in the Monogram Eclipse. I think that this is a beautiful card holder. I love the fact that you have four different credit card slots. You have two in the front, you have two in the back, and you also have one at the very top. So it is quite spacious in comparison to some of the other uh, card holders that the Fashion House has. And it's extremely carefree because of the Monogram Eclipse. 
but there's just something about it. I think it is beautiful and it has been holding up um, very, very nicely. No issues with varnish wear, no issues with pop stitching or anything like that. So if you do want a card holder that is a little bit understated but still has quite a bit of personality, the Monogram Eclipse. I definitely recommend that, especially if you do end up carrying quite a bit of cards with you and you don't necessarily and you don't necessarily want to limit yourself to just carrying one or two. This gives you more space. So the Louis Vuitton Monogram Eclipse card holder. My next favorite has been on major repeat since before summertime and I am talking about the Valentino Rocksta jellies in the color nude. I love these flip-flops and even though I have other colors, I always seem to gravitate towards the nude because it elongates your legs and this to me just screams summertime or springtime. I think that they're fabulous and the fact that they make your feet look like little presents because of the bow and the rock studs catch the light oh so perfectly, you know, and I find them to be very comfortable. I can use them for extended periods of time, no problem. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any problems with the rock studs falling off or anything like that. They also come with extras just in case that does happen to you. You can just swap them out and I've had these guys for going on two years now, if I'm not mistaken. So like I said, no issues with wear and tear. They are very, very dirty. My apologies. But like I said, they have been on major, major repeat. And I wanted to throw this out there just in case. Um, if you do live somewhere where it is quite humid, you might experience that these might make your feet sweat and it might be somewhat uncomfortable. Not to the point where the whole flip-flop is going to fall off of your foot or anything like that, but you might find it uncomfortable. Uh, so like I said, I just want to throw that out there just to give a little bit more info, just in case you're looking to add these to your wardrobe. But I'm a big, big fan. I wear a size nine and I went for a size 40 and it ends up working out perfectly. My toes don't hang over. My heel doesn't hang over. It's right on the edge. And um, I think that they end up working out great. So whether I'm using shorts or a skirt or jeans, I will end up rocking these babies. So the Valentino Rocksta jellies in the color nude, highly, highly recommend them. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these next two items quite a bit because I have been spamming you to death, but check out my newest pop sockets. I fell in love with pop sockets last year, and I love the fact that they add a little bit of personality to an old phone like mine. Yes, I still have my old phone. I promise someday I will buy a new one, just not right now. <laughs> I don't know why, all right? I have a crazy attachment to it. But anyways, uh, Christy, who is the owner of Sparkle and Bling is Life, she actually reached out to me about a month ago, and she said that she makes pop sockets, swappable pop sockets, um, and she uses Swarovski crystals, and she has some that are like Chanel inspired, and she's like, I think that you're really going to enjoy them. So I checked it out, and she sent this one out to me, and the moment that I opened it up, I fell in love. I've been using it nonstop, and the fact that it is swappable makes it so much easier to go for other ones without necessarily having to take this guy off. So then she told me that she was going to be making some that were Louis Vuitton inspired. The moment she said that to me, I was like, yes, sign me up. So I ended up buying this guy and I had her customize it. So then that way she can use the crystal, the Aurora Borealis on the white part and the rose Swarovski crystals where the L and the V are. And I feel that it really makes for a beautiful combination and it shines like crazy. And anytime you use Swarovski crystals, like I said, there's no, there's nothing like it. The prism that these crystals give off is insane but um, I think that they're beautiful she has a few others uh, to choose from and I've also seen some people customize different colors but uh, I will make sure and put her Etsy shop on the description box below because not only does she make these types of pop sockets she also makes some that have like mini mouse ears, some that are just one color. She also blings out shoes, which trust me, I have already been talking to her about possibly blinging out some vans, um, but she's super, super nice. And she also was very gracious and gave me a $5 coupon that you can use off of these pop sockets. And I will also put that on the description box below. But if you check out her Instagram, you can really see um, a few more of these before you head over to her Etsy shop or if that's where you wanna go, either way. I think that they are insanely, insanely gorgeous. And I've been swapping them from going from the Chanel one to the Louis Vuitton one. And I think that they're cute. I really think that an all red one, 
would be fabulous. I think that's the next one that I'm going to buy. So definitely check her out. So those are my current favorites. I will put as much information on the description box below and let me know what are some of your current favorites. Share with us in the comment section. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.